Big news coming out of the world of performing arts this week. Orange County Register Arts and Entertainment reporter Richard Chang joins us from the Register Building in Santa Ana with an update. Richard, nice to have you back with us again. Pleasure to be here as well. How are you this evening? This we're, we're fantastic. Day. What is this, uh, this new contract that Pacific Symphony Orchestra finally got worked out? Right. Well, the Pacific Symphony and uh, the, the management and the musicians who play for the, for the Pacific Symphony uh, have been working out a they're working on a contract, and, and just uh, this week, on Tuesday, the musicians ratified the contract. It's a, it's a five-year contract. Uh, musicians over the course of five years will be getting 41.5% as far as their raise. That breaks down to 8% over the next three years and 6% the following two years. Now, they had been, been at an impasse before. Uh, there were negotiations, and they sort of broke down, and the musicians had authorized uh, a strike, so that was kind of on the table, and uh, no one really wanted a strike. I mean, who wants to you know, start a new uh, classical music season yeah. with, with musicians on strike? That wouldn't have, wouldn't have worked out for anyone. So they came to an agreement. Um, the agreement was uh, uh, hammered out by the committee uh, that was representing the musicians, and the 88 musicians uh, voted uh, in an overwhelming uh, number, in a landslide uh, vote to uh, go ahead and uh, ratify the contract so everyone's squared away and uh, in fact they just had their opening weekend uh, this past weekend they did a, a performances of Mozart, Ravel and Strauss uh, under the guidance of uh, Carl St. Clair. Okay. What's uh, coming up? Oh coming up well you know there's uh, the there's a lot coming up uh, at the Performing Arts Center in general you know they've um, of course they've got the classical music season for the Pacific Symphony. Yeah. Um, the Performing Arts Center has a number of artistic partners, the Philharmonic Society of Orange County and uh, the Pacific Chorale. They've all got their new seasons that are kicking in. This is a very busy time of year for those of us in the arts. Yeah. Of course, the Performing Arts Center also has its own uh, season that it presents that has uh, recently started, and they've got a Broadway, a uh, number of Broadway shows, including Jersey Boys in November. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm anxious for that. I saw it on Broadway, oh. and I'm ready. I got my tickets. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the new look that the Performing Arts Center is uh, taking on. They've got a new logo. They've kind of changed up the name a little bit. Yeah, well, you know, it was uh, kind of subtle. Uh, a couple of us who report on the Performing Arts Center noticed it after it had appeared on a few press releases. They combined the arts and center to create one word, art center. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, for years, since their founding in 86, they had a logo with the arch. People can remember the uh, firebird going through the arch. And they had the arch for 20 years or so. And they now have a sort of inverted uh, curling keyboard, which is sort of reminiscent of the arch. But they say that uh, the new name and the logo sort of represent a synthesis of different things that are going on there. It's not just the Performing Arts Center. It's uh, their artistic partners and the different activities that they want to put on. They're into uh, reaching out to the community and also uh, presenting educational programs for the for kids. Mm -hmm. Richard, this is a time when you mentioned you're busy. I know you, Ben Weiner, you, the others that cover uh, different music and arts and all around Orange County. How do you decide what you're going to cover? Yeah, it's well, it's difficult sometimes because uh, you know there's usually more events than there are people for to cover. So we had to sort of prioritize what uh, seems the most interesting to us and also seems the most interesting to the public. Uh, occasionally there are things that are uh, we know that are of interest to the public and our readers both uh, in the paper and online will yeah. gravitate towards and it, it seems natural to write about those things. But we also kind of you know have our little pet favorites that we uh, mark on our calendars and make sure that we uh, do the reporting in advance and also uh, cover as critics, those yeah. of us who, who do criticism. Well, before we let you go, I want to make sure and ask you about the Orange County uh, Museum of Art. They're also going to be moving in onto that campus. Is that correct? Right. The uh, Orange County Museum of Art. Now, nothing is totally set in stone, but they are, uh, they've been negotiating with the Performing Arts Center for, for years uh, to relocate from their uh, current Newport Beach location, which is a little out of the way. It's over yeah. Uh, Newport Center uh, to the more central uh, location where the Performing Arts Center is across the street from, of course, South Coast Plaza. And they've already uh, hired architects and uh, drawn out blueprints. They're, they've got a plan uh, to 
build condos on top of the museum. Uh, everything is pretty much steaming forward, and we might hear sometime in the next few weeks uh, uh, some kind of uh, announcement about the uh, uh, Performing Arts Center actually uh, giving land over to the yeah. uh, uh, OC Museum of Art, which, by the way, is opening Birth to Cool this coming weekend. Very good. good. Richard, thank you so much. Appreciate you joining us. Look forward to talking to you again in the near future, reading what you write in the register. Well, thank you for having me on your program. All right. Thanks, Richard. Have a good one.